I've gone through a lot of different treatments. Um, as you can see, I currently am still constantly undergoing thing, but I did 33 sessions of radiation where they, they lock my face in a crazy mask thing and you go into a machine that kind of looks like an MRI machine, but your head is stuck in there and I would do that um, five days a week for six weeks and then a couple other little sessions. I was also on chemo, still am, seven days a week, thankfully through fighting uh, <laughs> tooth and nail, my body's reacting well to it. I, I work really hard to be physical in those sort of things, so I've been lucky enough that those part of the treatments, I mean, I have hair loss and all that underneath here, but I gotta have it anyways, so. Um, I've been one of the lucky ones. Treatments, those ones haven't been as bad. They have their bad days. Chemo can be very defeating. Um, one of the parts that I might have struggled with the most is just sometimes you just wake up and you realize when you, you don't necessarily want to. You know, you normally just want to wake up and be like, ah, oh, I don't have to do anything today. But it's for a long time it was wake up, you gotta go, gotta go to the doctor today, and you know, five days a week minimum, couple appointments a day. Um, then I went out and had an uh, amazing procedure in Huntington Beach called a gamma knife, which is another form of more in-depth radiation, um, which seems to be going well. People tend to ask, like, did, did it work? And that's one of the things that people don't understand about brain tumors, especially at least in my young state of having one and learning more about them is it's, it's not an answer or there's not a that's not a question you can just be like yep or nope or you know it's a fight it's a fight every day like I said so um, always looking for other treatments and stuff anything I can do to to fight this thing that's why I'm so happy to be here <laughs>